Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I'd like to talk to you about remediation levels in Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. And this is all about how we manage everything from full automation to semi-automation to no automation in Defender ATP. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so when Defender ATP finds a threat, it's going to automatically remove it if the machine is in a group, and that group has the full automation level applied to it. Now, if it's in one of the groups that has a semi-automation level applied to it, and you can see the three different types here, then it's going to actually ask for an admin to approve that action before it applies it. And of course, if it's in a group, but no automated response is set as the level, then nothing's going to happen. It's just going to be an alert only. So let's take a look at what this looks like in the actual admin portal itself. Okay, so in Defender ATP, we're in the admin portal here. I'm going to go to settings and then under settings choose device groups and I'm going to add my devices to the appropriate group. Now I've already created a group here that is set to full remediate threats automatically just like I showed in the previous slide and then here's the semi levels we can apply or just no automated response. So for this group that I've created I will dynamically add uh, machines based on my query here. So if the OS is Windows 10, it's going to automatically be added. But I can customize my query here however I like. So do that to basically fit your needs. So if we create a brand new machine group, as an example, it's going to be the exact same thing. And I just choose um, the automation level. And then I choose the dynamic query here so that it automatically adds that machine to that group. That's it. So when you deploy Defender ATP and you onboard machines, the next step is to make sure they get added to the right group. Now what I like about the dynamic group query is it automatically adds those machines to the right group. So this is pretty awesome. Now once it's in that group, again, an automation level will apply. All right, hopefully this helps to clear up any confusion. And remember, once you onboard a machine, just make sure it's added to that appropriate group so you can have the appropriate level of remediation and automation take place. Um, okay, folks, I'm going to be doing another video very shortly on a deeper dive into the automatic remediation capabilities of Defender ATP, so stay tuned for that video. As always, if you have questions, put them in the comments here in the video or hit me up on LinkedIn or Twitter, usually the best ways to get a hold of me. All right, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.